Hello everyone, this is Petrina and Ronald. Welcome to our Wellness Wednesday live on this page, Planet Wellness. Please say hello in the comments below if you're watching live and if you're watching on the replay, please type in hashtag replay. So today we were on the radio as we do weekly, every Wednesday from 6.30 a.m. till 8 a.m., libertyradio.co.uk. In case you've been listening or would like to listen in, please do make a note in your diary and uh, follow us next Wednesday and every Wednesday from now on going forward till further notice. And we talked about a particular vegetable and we're going to just carry on uh, expanding on the benefits of that. Mm -hmm. So over to you, Ronald. Yes, first of all, uh, I'd like to preface um, what I'm going to talk about in this vegetable, why it is so important to take. And that is for the last 40 to 50 years, um, I've done incredibly deep studies on the role of the gut, the gut, you know, which is your intestines, small intestines and large intestines, and the role it plays in your brain matter and also in being sharp in, in life and business generally and also that when you're eating because a lot of people tend to eat a lot of junk food like like chips fried chicken pizzas uh bread with uh, bread with white bread white flour cakes uh buns that are made with white flour a lot of that uh really clogs up your intestines and it, and it, and then the preservatives in that also goes into your cells right you got 75 trillion cells so your cells are being under murderous attack constantly after you've been eating a lot of junk food. And a lot of people consume a lot of junk food in between meals, right? So, and they don't have enough salads, they don't have enough fruits, right? So this particular vegetable is, is a real God bless because it, it is so rich in um, nutrients and also in benefits for, for the gut, right? Now, this uh, this vegetable is not known to a lot of people, but Indian people, uh, African people, Brazilian people, they know a lot about it. And also the, the people that live in the, in the southern part of the United States. Um, and I'm going to give you a clue what it's called. It's called Lady Fingers, uh, commonly known as Lady Fingers. Uh, it's also well, more known as what? Okra. Okra. And okay. bindi, oh, bindi, bindi, bindi in the Hindi bindi language. Bindi in the Indian language, bindi. So with the bindi, they use the cook it, they curry it, and they use it when they're chapatis, right? So, so and in, in, in South America, um, in the southern part of uh, the States, they make a dish called gumbo, G-U-M-B-O, which, which is quite gooey, right? And, uh, and they love it. They, they make it. They make it on a regular basis three or four times a week, right? I think they need to do that because uh, their food in some of those places desires a lot more fibre, right? Now, why is this? I'm going to show you what it looks like so you know what to look for. It looks like a chilli, but it's got a significant edge. Here it is there. Can you see it? Right? It looks like a chilli. Now, but you can see that it's got a very unique, a very unique vegetable because it's got beveled edges. What I mean by beveled, can you see what I mean by beveled? You see that? There's a sharp edge, see, look at it. So in this one, you've got about four or five beveled edges. You see, that's what I mean by beveled edge, see, like that? And that's how you know it's uh, it's goomba, or well, not goomba, but uh, okra, right? Now, that's what it looks like at the end, and that's what it looks like at the stem, right? Now. One thing I must stress, when you cook this, it's very important that you deep fry it or cook it for too long. We find that the, 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 the benefits uh, are kept if you steam this. And, and when you steam it, don't cut it up. If you cut it up and you put it into the steamer, the, the gooey stuff inside that uh, releases and goes into the water and you waste a lot of goodness. Now, what you best to do is that we steam that in a steamer hole like that. We do not remove this bit. We put the whole thing in and we cook it. We steam it. And then what happens as a result is that uh, when it's finished steaming, it'll be softer. That is then put on a plate. 
and then you can then at that point you cut it up and then you put some olive oil on it or coconut oil to make it really palatable now why is this so beneficial is that you need by the way for it to be beneficial for say constipation you need to eat a dish with about 21 of those or 20 21 of those about these that are size. slightly smaller. These are so smaller, you see? see the these are longer. So get about that size, these are uh, quite tender. But don't get them too long. If you get them too long, they get become they become quite hard and, and too fibrous. This is ten, still tender. No more than that. I'd say we're talking about one, two, three, about four inches. Four inches long. Okay? Right, now, why is it so beneficial? Number one, number one, the fiber content in the in the okra is very high and it's the perfect fiber for removing LDL cholesterol from your blood okay very very good and, and the fiber is, is very gentle but it's very uh, very effective at the same time that's one now the second thing it's got vitamin A it's got vitamin K1 it's got folate which is good for uh, pregnancy it's good for preparing the you know for preparing the gut to absorb the, the the rubbish that's in the gut and get it out so it's very very effective against constipation and i've seen cases in hong kong where the women there were eating like four days of meals like three meals a day four days third 12 12 meals and on the fourth day uh, or fifth day they were putting out rabbit pellets they weren't going to the toilet for four days so I was giving them uh, fiber, fiber products, including the okra, and you do have it in Hong Kong, and also using cucumber with the skin on and so on and so on, right? So that's, so like I said, folate, vitamin K1, vitamin A, vitamin C, um, potassium, it's got some magnesium, quite a lot of magnesium in it, which is good for sleeping. The other thing that it's good for is that the actual, the you know, type of fiber, which is a very gooey type of fiber, can combine with a fiber, for example, from your your oats. So if you're eating oats on that day, like rolled oats, it's organic, and you're eating rolled oats on a day, preferably with a sour, a sourdough base. If you're eating uh, that plus a sourdough base bread, plus the um, the okra, that will deliver a huge amount of significant fiber which will take a lot which will wipe clean your 30 feet of small intestines and five feet of large intestine now other benefits are when you are removing when, when you take using the fiber in the okra uh, plus other types of quality fiber what actually happens is as your blood is releasing is is removing being removed of bad cholesterol your brain clears up, your frontal lobe of your brain enables you to think faster and better. So you can do mathematics, you can do arithmetic, you can do chemistry, you can do physics, you can deduct, you can have intelligent conversation. It reduces your stress level amazingly. If you do about 20 of those a day for about a week, on the eighth day you'll be sleeping better, you'll think better, you'll, you'll be sleeping better, thinking better, and just keep it up in, in on a regular basis. So especially very important if you've had a, a few months of like winter starchy foods uh, which are stuck in your in your bowel, use at least 20 of those per day. Now, where do you get it from? Asian shops have it. Um, some supermarkets have it, but be careful. Uh, we were talking about it this morning. Don't buy the okra if it's already been cut up and frozen. If it's frozen whole, yes. If it's been cut up and frozen, there's a good chance the fiber will be low and the vitamins will have escaped and, and really been reduced in quality, all right? So that's very important. But preferably if you go to Asian shop uh, or farm shop or even a grower that grows them, that's where your ticket is, okay? So we look forward to um, hearing your feedback uh, next week after you've had a few of those. Yes, oh. and uh, the the um, the gooey stuff in the um, okra is also glucosamine, which yes. is good for the joints as well. That's right. As you know, yeah. if when you get older, mm. if you do like bend down or squat, you mm. tend your your knees tend to 
uh, creak. Yeah. So that's that right. that will actually help with the uh, creaking as well. That's a very very good point. Um, that's the one thing I meant meant to mention is that arthritis once you get past fifty fifty five. Arthritis becomes quite can become quite prevalent, and where the word arthritis comes from is it means it comes from the Greek word arthros, which means joint. So you and is means inflammation of the joints. So arthritis, it's inflammation of arthros, inflammation of the joint, and that's where the the gooey stuff in the actual. Um, Okra is so beneficial for reducing the inflammation caused by osteoarthritis. Also, it helps to, whilst it's doing that, it helps to retain the calcium and the magnesium and the vitamin K in the bones, which therefore reduces osteoporosis as you get older. Yeah. So yeah. we've got a question here from Shanti. She says, is it seven to eight per day? No, it's more like 20 per day. No, if you, if you want medicinal purposes... Like you need about 20, uh, four inches. Yes. Yeah. Four, in, four inches like that. And you need about 20 per day if you want to be med yeah. medicinal. It, it, it sounds a lot. However, if you imagine like it's not if, if it's like chips, you eat more than 20 of these a day, right? Yeah, so this right. is not a lot. Yeah, you can, you can get away with seven to eight a day, but you'd have to eat it for a lot longer, probably two or three months, right? You're better off to try and eat 20 per day at four inches long. And that way you'll get results within as quick as two weeks. That's, that's the way to do it. Okay. And it's actually not so hard to consume as well. If you're no. eating, say, for example, with rice or yeah. you know some, some other dish, yes. you can just mix it up with the dish. And yeah. before you know, uh, 20, 20 is actually quite easy to get, get through in, in yeah. one meal. Yeah, you can. You can uh, it's also very tasty uh, if you mix it with brown rice, red rice and wild, and rice. wild rice. And also mix, uh, add some dill, some dill powder. Add some dill powder or fresh dill or fresh coriander. Uh, you can also mix it with red tomatoes, which adds enough fiber and then creates, uh, creates uh, beneficial nutrients for your eyes. All right. So definitely, like I said, seven or eight a day, you'd, be, you'd have to eat a lot of big size and then that becomes too fibrous. You want them about four inches long. Okay, right. so we hope we've enjoyed this video. Mm, if you yeah. have, please give us a like, heart, um, care or wow emoji so we can help this video reach a wider audience and also tag your friends who may find this interesting yeah uh, look out for our our post every every wednesday we, we're doing mm -hmm. a live as usual at 1 30 p.m uk time and also on the weekends i'm doing a live on uh, the team sensational saturday and success sunday mm. it's been going on every week at random times depending on my availability and also last weekend was easter and we actually sh um, recorded a short video on our garden so mm. i'll i'm gonna share it in the post later on so look out for that as well yeah and uh do obviously subscribe to our youtube channel if you've not already done so it's mm -hmm. called planet wellness youtube you'll see our faces there and you can subscribe we're sharing uh videos every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays new videos uh particularly on the team psoriasis however the tips that we share are food food and you know uh nutrient related and also things like what you can do to use for your skin and even toothpaste uh, mm. all, all, everything that's uh, to do with um, body so that will also be useful for your general health yes anyway have a great um, let's get let's get some feedback from you how you find the uh, the okra say so maybe about to our web to our um, youtube channel or one of the uh, one of our emails you can send it to us and let us know how you get on Okay, take okay, care guys. Take care. Bye bye.